move on to actually adding some polygons um, that will start creating the the head and we're going to start with the eye work around to the nose down to the mouth and then we'll cover the rest of the the head off so if we're starting with the eye there's a there's a number of ways to um, add uh, polygons so I'll try and go through um, as many of them as, as I can so hit in spacebar there over while I'm hovering the mouse over the front view and we'll go to um, create and we'll start off by using the create polygon so using the create polygon I'm simply going to create a shape that roughly matches the space in between the eye like so in between the eyelids hit enter and escape from that tool and if I use F for object mode and then spacebar back you can see it's created it exactly where I wanted it actually quite often it will do it at world center back here um, but because I've been messing with this file it's created it where I last had an object which is there which is exactly where I want it at the front of um, this space of where the, the eyeball is like so so we need to change the um, material by going to the uh, material editor and then we'll change it to the skin that we've already created and apply it we've got that darker color there that we chose um, and that will we've actually got an ambient color that's a little bit light there so I'll um, give it a little bit of a bluish tint and that will just um, just highlights it from the background a little bit more and keeps it um, different than the than the eyeball so we can shut that down now now you can now model and you can now switch the polygons to ghost shaded as well but for the moment while we're, we're while I'm showing you how to use some of these tools I'll keep it as a solid color like so and then later on um, we'll perhaps change it to um, ghost shaded so there's now um, let's just go back to the front so there's now a number of ways to uh, move forward from here and what we really need to do is start building polygons around this area that start reflecting the shape of the model and then we'll change them in this view or we'll build them in this view and change them in this view the idea being that we add polygons that match the 3d um, or match the 2d image and make it a 3d model so to um, to add polygons, there's a, there's a number of ways we can do it. So first of all, let's just try um, a basic extrude. I'm just selecting some edges. So I've hit keyboard Z, which is extrude, and as you can see, I've just extruded out one polygon all the way around the, the the single polygon so what I'm going to do now is actually going to go back to the material editor Let's change the default to change the name of the default to eye skin and the reason I've done that is I want just a different um, yet another oops didn't change then I didn't hit enter on the name so change it to eye skin hit enter I might have three or four materials, it's just um, a habit to uh, keep defining areas of the the model and keeping it different colours helps. So we've got the single ring of uh, polygons that have come off and if you have a look at this side there's actually, it's not in any way matched uh, the reference so I'll just shut that down. So what we need to do now is create, create uh, or reshape these points so that they match um, the reference here. So instead of um, 
let's just grab the two end ones just by selecting them and we'll move those back in fact we'll just grab all four of them so we'll move all four of those back right back to the eye there we'll move those two back approximately halfway so we can just see the eyeball coming through that would leave I'm just tweaking now straight away that would leave these two here roughly about right so I'm looking at this front view here and comparing it at the side so you'd probably want it a little bit forward like so uh, these two here bring them forward matching it with this line here bottom two about right and then down here would be back at this point we would actually be better if we switched it to ghosted shade this is what I was saying earlier you may need to switch back into bottom two there I'm going back in the eye and then this entire block here so I'm just selecting around it there would need to move right back behind the eye like so tweak it and then this one is about right and if we just switch to keyboard one and then just have a look at that from in 3d mode you can see there it's this central polygon now um is uh, it's actually yeah, that's now um a non-planar um polygon which means it's bent all over the place basically um, it's a, it's not any use to us we're gonna we're gonna get rid of it anyway um, it was just simply to start us off so what we'll do is we'll keep it just for now um, but as you can see it it is pulling away from the eye a little bit at the front there so what I might just do is select that single polygon and using Z extrude I'll just extrude the eye the polygon shape back in like so and then I'm going to delete it so it's no longer uh, it's no longer having any use for us and then now I can tweak using the 3d version I can tweak the lower or the inner ring I can tweak that to match the eyeball you can see what I'm doing there and that because we've got rid of that polygon and we're now we've still got that um, skin color inside which is definitely a help at this stage and I'm looking at both sides I'm tweaking on both sides and you've straight away got the eye shape that we want to start us off and it's good to get um, do as much tweaking as possible at this stage because every time you now uh, extrude off or um, come off any of these edges here uh, it'll be in the right place so when we extrude up here now um, to the rest of the uh, the rest of the eyelid we're starting off from a from a very good standing point okay so if we go back to the front view like so so we just use extrude then um, and we extruded the whole ring all the way around so you can also use extrude just on one or two edges so select the edges that you want it doesn't have to be a ring all the way around keyboard Z and we just select off like so we'll keep them selected go back to our side view and we'll just pull that back a little bit and try and match the reference there so we've pulled that lid back and we're going to tuck it under next but, but what we've actually done is match it as much as we can and then go back to the front you may have trouble seeing exactly what I'm doing now because of the amount of um, detail on the background image which is a probably a fault of mine I should have perhaps made it a little bit lighter but that you can do that with your own um, again
again just tweaking now just seeing where I can adjust it and let's do what we did before which is go to keyboard one and have a look at it in 3D mode again feel free to switch back into to the different views and also the different uh, away from ghost shaded back to full solid shaded should you need to okay so that was just using extrude to do the same job but we used it just as um on a few of the the polygons a few of the edges so let's switch back here So I'll switch to edge mode, just have a quick look. <coughs> we can use another uh, tool, which is the surface tool. And if I start here and click out, like so, it gen generates an extra surface. You can use that tool and carry on, which we will use later on. Probably isn't so useful for this particular portion, but it's a, a great tool that we will be using. We'll just select those to right click and merge them. Like so. We can um, extrude out this way as well if needed. Just double check where we came from. Select those. Just see, we pull them forward like so, so remember you're always working in different planes, different views, right click and join those and that's another way to do it and we'll just work around and stitch them together so let me um, do what we did originally so I'll go to edge mode and I'll extrude out the bottom here with keyboard Z and out and then we'll go in and tweak that and uh, just having a look at it from there so we're actually quite a good shape already with that one like so and then we just bring these a little bit forward as we know we're going to join those two by selecting the two and merging we will put a little polygon in there eventually that will be the corner of the eye but we're okay for the moment as it is you can now really see the benefit of um, having the eye in there because it's without the eye there to get the rounded shape that you that you do have with an eye um, it would be impossible um, I'll just run a split all the way through the inner eye there which is um, I'll just select the whole loop like that with alt e just to show you and then I'll run a split just inside like that and the reason I've done that is I will need it later but I want to just make a little bit of a tweak in this corner here and tighten it up a little bit early on and that's just hidden that space around the corner of the eye anyway and it will allow me to tighten up the corner if I just quickly hit keyboard C you can see that subdivided already we will put more definition in that once we've got the basic shape right around the, the, the eye and the nose so keyboard V to go back and then back to the front and the, the split view and you can see there we've already matched quite nicely to this cheek we've matched quite okay to the um, up here to the uh, top of the eyelid may need to pull that back a little bit more to keep it going like so and if you look here we've gone too far out so we'll tighten that one back in and you will find that lots and lots to be honest um, going back and refining like that will be uh, the, the, the order of the day as we go on through this model okay I will try and keep 
this section here. Uh, keep it close to this. So uh, there's a, a ridge there slightly, which is like a bag under his eye, um, which we add later. Again, just tweaking as I go, looking at opportunities. And that we will tighten in there. And then have a quick look back in 3D. One thing I've just noticed is that the eyeball became unsubdivided when we did the um, when we unsubdivided the eye shape. Okay, so ready to move on a little bit more now. Go back to my front view. Make sure we've just got the eye selected, the eye skin selected. Okay, so let's extrude a little bit more up through the eye like so. And then we're ready to start um, see there that would give us that ridge and start coming back out for what will become the um, first part of the forehead here okay so we'll leave that one as it is come back to that shortly and we'll just um, join some of these along here back to edge mode, bit of an extrude there, join these like so, so we've just carried on and because this portion here will be level back here and slightly forward we'll extrude that one out Join that one and then we'll take a look at that in 3D and see if it's going where we want it. Even though you're working off a reference, it won't always look right in 3D, so use the reference and switch it back. Um, look at as many different angles as you can. So you're going to be side front and perspective constantly swapping back and to. You can see what we've done here with the eyelid is looking a little bit too aggressive, a bit too sharp there really. I subdivide it and have a look which is fine and we know we're coming back out now around this lid area so um, let's just have a look down here is fine. Okay, so I think what we'll do now is we'll create this uh, portion of the cheek area here, um, and we'll do that in the the next video.